We got Patrick in Florida. Uh, you're on with Jim and Matt. How are you? Doing. How are you doing? I'm exhausted, but I'm, you know, evidently I can do this when I'm exhausted. Yeah. Well, happy Valentine's Day to you at any rate. Thanks. I hope everybody who cares about Valentine's Day is having a wonderful one. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I guess let's get right into it. Cool. Y you wanted to challenge me on something I said, evidently. So. Yes. Uh, like I had spoke with you before and you said there's no science evidence of God. But I think there's a problem with that. And I'd like to say why, if you give me an opportunity. Okay, go. So. So what I'd like to say is that, you know, if you say no science evidence of a supernatural God, the science doesn't investigate the supernatural. So that's a non sequitur. It doesn't fall. Mm, well, okay. Now I'm, I'm willing to, I'm willing to go with you there. Are you advocating for a non supernatural God? Yes. I, I'm Patrick, the pantheist from Florida, but, uh, but that's if not that's so, so, I, so if your if your position is that there's a non supernatural god you're welcome to defend that but when i was saying there's no scientific evidence of a god i'm talking about supernatural gods because i'm not aware of any non supernatural thing that would actually qualify as a god okay well how can you say that though that that's my question I, I, I open my mouth and i exhale oxygen from my lungs which goes across my vocal cords that's how i can say it. <laughs> but this is what i'm saying there you, science doesn't investigate the supernatural yeah no that's 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 an incorrect phrasing that's so, an incorrect phrasing but that's science not what i can't. can't. Sci science yeah. is unable to investigate the supernatural because we don't know what it is. If we had any idea of what it was, and every time you try and nail somebody down on a definition of it, we can't get anywhere with it. So it's not that it doesn't, it's that it can't because nobody knows what it is. But none of that matters because you're advocating a non-supernatural God, which means it's a God that we can in fact investigate, right? Yes, I would say, I, we've gone over this a little bit before I said, we would have to assign some kind of God attributes to say that the universe was a God, you know, and, and they're investigating it. Consciousness, you know, they've got different theories. You know, we've talked about Oracle R theory before, and you said you had a guy on the show that knew Roger Penrose. We talked a little bit about that. I don't care what we talked about in the past. Get to define, get to define, I'm going to hang up on you if you don't stop talking. Get to defining your non-supernatural God so that we can address it. That's Jim's objection. That's my objection. Define your God, and we'll be happy to talk about it. But if you keep going on about what we talked about before, we will not speak again. Okay, I got you. Well, I would say to define God is simply God equals the universe. And how you deduce that is that's a natural God. Everything we see in science is explained through natural phenomena. So the pantheists would be cool with that, not as am I. And then they're investigating consciousness. The Patrick. universe, some people believe, uh, exhibits consciousness. Stop. I'm trying to... Okay, go ahead. You defined, you, you, you defined the universe and just said it's a natural God. How do you know that? What properties does the universe have that make it a God? That's what I was trying to say. A God would exhibit consciousness. The universe. How do you know that? How do you know that a God would be consciousness? But the universe isn't conscious, so you lost already. The universe is not conscious. Well, so if scientists are currently investigating that. Well, then when, they, when the scientists show that the universe is conscious, then maybe you'll have a point. But right now, the universe is not conscious. Well, string theory has not been proven either. Correct. And I'm, am I sitting here advocating for string theory? Is string theory even remotely relevant to this conversation? It's a legitimate inquiry in science. and Did I advocate string theory, Patrick? 
No, but I'm trying to explain why. No, you're not. Even this pan pantheism and panpsychism, and I feel like you're not allowing me the opportunity. Well, so I, here, let me let me try and put it another way. So I there are quote unquote scientists who are also investigating flat Earth, right? Not really. Does that mean it's legitimate? Did you just say not really? No. <laughs> No, are you fucking kidding me? There's the, the whole documentary about people out there who are trying to. Yeah. And some of them are scientists trying to scientifically prove it. So just because they're a scientist trying to prove something doesn't mean that it's even remotely possible. If a God is conscious and the universe has not been yet shown to be conscious, how could you say that the universe is God? Oh, huh. poor guy. I don't know. We might have lost all of the call screen thing. So I want, to oh. give him, I want to give him a second to get back on here. So in the meantime, let me, let me try and make this clear for everybody who isn't Patrick. If you want to define God and you want to say the universe is God, you have to say, here are characteristics of a God and the universe has these characteristics. And when you do that, if you show that these in fact are characteristics of a God and the universe has those characteristics, then you are well on your way to showing that the universe is a, is a God. But if you say a God has these characteristics and you can't show that the universe has them, then you're not on your way to demonstrating God. Are you back, Patrick? Yes, sir. So can you hear me? You, you say the universe is God and gods are conscious, but the universe has not yet been shown to be conscious, correct? No, I mean, that, that consciousness is a very, you know, well, you know, we've, Patrick, it's a hard problem. I, that was a yes or no question. Has the universe been demonstrated to be conscious? You know, I, I believe it has. You know. Well, I don't care what you believe. I care about why. And so why do you think the universe has been demonstrated to be conscious? You know, I've read a little bit of the newer sciences like Orc OR theory. You know, I feel like, have you read that at all? Or do Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, if, the um, universe, if the universe had been shown to be conscious, Patrick and anybody else who agrees with Patrick, that would be on the front page of every newspaper. It would earn every scientific award. Well, I've read some papers that show that maybe somebody someday might be able to show right. that the universe is conscious. Well, when they do, call us back. Until then, you're wasting time. <laughs> ah.